Windows 11 has improved a lot since its release a few years ago. So much so that when people now ask me if they should upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11, the answer is a definitive yes. Coming up in this video, I'll let you know the 12 reasons why right now is a fantastic time to upgrade to Windows 11. Let's get started. When you first boot up Windows 11, you'll notice that it has a much nicer looking user interface. There's the rounded corners for the windows you have opened, and the start menu and pinned apps are more centered on the taskbar. This seems to have been inspired by Mac OS. At first, I didn't like it, but it just seems to make more sense being centered than aligned to the left. If you're someone that doesn't like it and you want to change the alignment of the taskbar to the left, right-click an empty space in the taskbar and select Taskbar Settings. Go down to Taskbar Behaviors. Click the drop-down for Taskbar Alignment and select Left. And you'll now see that everything's now aligned to the left. I now prefer it centered, so I'll switch it back. Some of the apps built into Windows 11 are far superior than what's included with Windows 10. Their all new media player is quite good for listening to music, podcasts, and other audio. It's a lot better than the old Windows media player. The Photos app editing features have improved quite a bit. It has a generative erase tool that's very similar to Google's Magic Eraser. And its background removal tool works really well too. And the Clock app should not be overlooked to help with concentrating on projects with less distractions, their Focus Session feature can be useful. There are more AI features included with Windows 11 built into its various apps, and the Copilot generative AI tools are more advanced than the basic versions in Windows 10. The much aligned Microsoft Paint has finally been upgraded with new features, and now, after all these years, lets you work with layers. In addition to a background removal tool built in, it also has an AI image creator that lets you create images using text. Here's an example. After entering the text, choose a style. I'll go with photorealistic, then click on create. Here's what it came up with. The snipping tool in Windows 11 continues to get better to take a screenshot of anything on your screen. To take a screenshot, you can use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus shift plus S. It now includes the ability to record video of what is on your screen. To record video of what is on your screen, that keyboard shortcut is the Windows key plus shift plus R. Taking a screenshot or recording a video using the shortcuts does not require the snipping tool to already be open. When taking a screenshot, you have four options, rectangle, window, full screen, and freeform. There's also a delay timer to delay your screenshot from no delay up to 10 seconds. Being able to arrange windows on your desktop can be quite useful for productivity. With Windows 11, they introduced a new feature called Snap Layouts. Hovering your cursor over the maximize icon in the upper right will show you the various layouts you can choose from and you could just select them if you want to, but we won't. Another way to show the snap layouts available is to use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus Z. You'll see them pop up there. Some of you might recall this shortcut from a recent video discussing the most useful keyboard shortcuts. Select the corresponding number on your keyboard for the layout you want. Let's go with the number eight. Then I'll select the number one to put the current window in the upper left-hand corner. Then just use the arrow keys and enter key to fill the remainder of the layout. Windows 11 is more secure because of its requirement of a secure processor called a Trusted Platform Module, or TPM for short. As Microsoft says, this requirement makes secured core PCs twice as resistant to malware infections. I'll have more to say about TPMs later in this video. The widgets panel is very similar to the panel in Windows 10, but in Windows 11, the widgets are more customizable. You can get to it by hovering your cursor over its icon in the taskbar. 
Here you can quickly see the news, weather, sports, and all sorts of other stuff. In the near future, third-party information widgets will also be supported. The task view has improved quite a bit, especially with better support when working with external monitors. You'll find the task view icon in the taskbar. Clicking on it shows you the programs that you have open. Due to the limitations with recording software, I can't show you all the monitors right now. And it still has the virtual desktops, which come in handy if you want to separate things out between personal and work, as an example. If you play games on your PC in Windows 11, there have been a couple huge improvements. The first of which is a built-in feature called Direct Storage. In short, not to get too technical, this makes for much faster game loading times by loading games directly into the video memory bypassing the CPU. The other improvement is when you enable game mode and is much more efficient in Windows 11 to prioritize your gaming experience by turning things off in the background that could interfere with gameplay. If you're still on Windows 10, another reason to upgrade is that it will no longer receive any security or feature updates after October 14th, 2025. There is an exception to this. Microsoft recently announced that you'll have to pay up if you want to remain on Windows 10 securely. For consumers, $30 gets you an extra year of security updates with no plans to extend this past the first year. And businesses can opt in for up to three years of security updates starting at $61 for the first year. With no official release date for Windows 12, which could be a year or two away, nobody knows for sure, you may not want to miss out on the tons of cool new features that have yet to be added to Windows 11, currently making their way through the Windows Insider program right now. If you have a PC that meets or exceeds the system requirements, upgrading to Windows 11 is completely free. One of the sticking points for some is the TPM 2.0 requirement. TPM 2.0 has been around for quite a while. If you've purchased your PC since 2016, you should be good to go. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If you've already upgraded or plan to upgrade to Windows 11, what are your reasons for upgrading? Let me know in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on the latest in Windows 11 and other tech-related stuff.